and welcome to Kelvin Power Tools. My name is Gordon from Festool. Uh, the man at a socially distanced two and a bit metres uh, is Eddie Russell. Eddie's the Territory Sales Manager for Scotland uh, and he's here to help and we're going to present to you some new products from Festival from this year and one old favourite this morning. Uh, that could be me or it could be the tool, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what we're going to talk about this morning is the latest release. It came out in September. Uh, I think in October we're being deliveries now, so stuff is coming into stock. Uh, and this is the Plan X2. Uh, a new machine, we launched it, um, I'd say a couple of weeks ago. We currently have the Plan X Easy, which is the machine I think you can still see down here on cam. And we have the Plan X2, the LHS 225. Um, first question would be why do we have two machines? Um, well, specifically, the Plan X Easy was designed, as you can tell by the name Easy, for easy use. It's straight out of the bag and it's ready to use. Um, it's a rotary machine, so the machine just rotates at high speed. And it sands, and it's, it's absolutely ideal for drywalling, taping and jointing jobs, any kind of construction site like that. But it's straight out of the bag, plug it lead, on with the hose, and you go straight to work. Very quick, the finish is good enough for drywalling, but it's not the highest quality finish. Uh, dust extraction, as you'd expect from Festool, is fantastic. This machine still remains available, and it's still in the range, and it will be basically used as a, uh, for that specific application. It will do decorating work as well, but the LHS2, the uh, Plan X2, you'll find is designed specifically for uh, decorating markets, but also can do, can do drywalling as well. So, the new machine. Well, the first thing is, unlike the Plan X Easy, is it's uh, adjustable in length. So at the moment it has one extension fitted, but you can fit two. For the purposes of doing this demonstration here this morning, I'm going to take this one off, but you can add a further two extensions to it. So basically two of these and then the machine. Any more and it gets really, really heavy. <laughs> so, you know, strong guys are not, it's, it's a lot to handle. But we do compensate for that. If we look at the head first, basically the head has a fantastic gimbal, goes in any direction. So easy to handle. It also has this control, which I'll bring forward here. And this is a vacuum control, and you've got two symbols, you can see that. You've got the wall and the ceiling. So basically, it almost acts like an assist. So when you're using it on the ceiling, and unfortunately we have suspended ceilings here, so I can't really uh, switch the machine on on the ceiling. But it does assist you, so it takes the weight while you're moving around. And also you'll notice this nice handle on the bottom here. So the handle's great, so you can grip that, support it, and drive it along the wall, along the ceiling, should I say. But as I say, for the purposes of this little demo, we're going to disconnect some of the sections. To disconnect the section, it's really, really easy. All you do is lever this forward, and you'll notice it doesn't fall apart. So basically, you take the weight, pull it again, and then slide it off. It makes it much easier. So we'll take that off there. The same again here. Take it off. We'll pop that around the back. And now we're going to connect this one. Leave it forward, and now we're connected. It's really, really easy. As I said, you've got variable suction on here. Here you've got a grip for the hose. So similar to the Plan X Easy, you've got this clamp that you can use to, to grip the hose. What I like about it as well is you've now got this device here on the end, which keeps the hose to the handle. What it means is as well, if you need to prop it up against anything, you can stand the machine on the handle, if you can see that from down there, uh, from up there. You can stand, you can lean the machine against the wall and you're not leaning on the cable because the cable is separate and away from the bottom of the machine now, unlike the Plan X Easy, where the power goes in here. So it just makes it easier to, to put to one side when you're doing something else. But the big thing people like about it, of course, is the light. So on the top, we've got a button here, so your on-off switch is here, and the light is on. So basically, so basically, in the decorator market, what it's fantastic for, because normally a decorator will have a lot of extra lighting around the place to, to look for blemishes and look for the surface finish. You can do that at source now. You can see every blemish, every defect right up close so it makes it much easier for you to do the work properly. 
Now then, also the machine is Bluetooth. And using your Festool work app, which we really strongly recommend you all download, you can connect this to your work app when, uh, when you're online. So basically, literally, keep your finger on the button, and the blue light will flash, and it will, once you've opened your app, you'll be able to pair that to the app. Why do you want it on the app? Several good features on the app. First of all, it actually gives you, as does the internet of everything now, your home's connected to your phone, your heating's connected to your phone, your car's connected to your phone, you can connect your, your plan next to your phone. And the idea of that is you can see the condition of the machine, you can see if it's overloaded, if it needs any attention, and it will give you messages saying, you know, you're overheating and what have you, cool down or send it in for service. Also using the app, you can uh, download the repair, you can send it in for repair, you can book all that through the app, through the work app. So do think about uh, downloading the work app to your phone. Next, we'll do some sanding. Now, you'll find that the extraction on this is phenomenal, as with all Festool tools. We recommend an auto clean extractor, which I'll just talk about a little bit after we do this little bit of sanding. products. So with either the Plan X Easy or the new Plan X2, um, oh sorry one last thing I've mentioned really important, why is this the tool for decorators? Because the finish is uh, better. Basically this is a random orbit sander which is an eccentric a bit like your palm sander so the finish is much better so you won't be getting as many swirl marks on your wall so that's a really important thing. So this is a, a random orbital that machine is a rotary. So that's probably a quicker machine, takes a lot of material off really quickly. This is a little bit slower probably, but really gives you a great finish. So, the dust extractor. So what we have here is one of many uh, auto-clean dust extractors. Uh, very important to mention, why would you choose an auto-clean extractor? Um, basically what it has, it has a device that dumps the dust out of the filter regularly. So basically when you use an auto-clean, you wouldn't use a filter bag, you'd use what we call an open bag system, which is a bit like a bin liner. So when the auto clean goes off, you'll hear a gadunk, a big bang, and the dust will drop from the filter vertically into an open space, uh, into the open liner space. If you put a filter bag in that, what's gonna happen when it auto cleans, it's gonna dump the dust on top of the bag, so that when you come to take off the lid, the extractor, you're just gonna get covered in dust, and that's not the point. So basically what you would use Particularly with, with the kind of work we're doing here with filler and plaster, really fine dust, you must use an auto clean. Now, there may be a question or two at the end about auto clean as well. But you can vary the auto clean. You can also um, you can do a, a clean uh, cleaning function on the auto clean machine. Simply get the button here, turn it to auto clean. And what that does is it gives the, uh, the filter a sneeze, if you like, it makes it cough and dumps the dust off the filter. And consequently, when you finish with this, you'll take the lid off, you'll have a clear plastic bin liner, sealed up, tie wrap on the top and skip it. But you can use this for wood and other applications, just turn off the auto clean. Uh, simple button on this control here, turn it to, to off. Uh, and, um, and you can use it with a filter bag and use it for any other applications you have. So if there's an opportunity in your, in your work pattern that some months you're going to be doing this kind of work, then yeah, choose an auto clean. Primarily if you're a woodworker or a joiner, you don't need auto clean, it's of no benefit at all. Um, other things about it, it comes with a 36mm hose, we recommend the 36mm hose uh, for, uh, for the Planet because it takes such a volume of dust away, so you need a bigger hose. Um, they come in various sizes and various shapes and sizes. Another last tip as well, um, with, both, with this machine in particular, with this machine, um, we don't recommend net uh, abrasive. Um, keep, if you're going to use a net abrasive, we'd strongly suggest that you use the Planex Easy. 
uh, but we don't use recommend um, net abrasive, the, the granat net as we call it. We recommend our granat uh, abrasive, available in a variety of grits. In the box, um, in, the, in the sustainer with the machine, it comes in an XXL sustainer, which is underneath it. Which is underneath. <laughs> So this fantastic creation, you can actually stack two normal sustainers on top uh, of either the, the T-Lock uh, design or the new uh, sustainer, sustainer Generation 3. Uh, but in the box is everything you need, including a pack of five uh, braces in 180 grit. And you also get the straps for attaching your cable to your hose, so that's okay. Uh, also in the, the box, I mean, it's, it's much easier to transport in this box when you've disconnected it. It's just fantastic. If you're a Festool user already, you'll obviously be able to uh, incorporate this into your system. There's also storage in the box as well for a cleaning set. So one of the, uh, uh, the, the I think it's called our compact cleaning set in a cardboard box. You can dispense that into there and have a nice storage area for it. That one here. So being Festool, there is a space for every piece in that bag, in that box as well, in your Generation 3 sustainer. Thanks Eddie. Uh, I think that covers everything, so if you have any questions, uh, please send them in, um, either through Instagram or Facebook. Uh, we're here uh, till lunchtime today, so if you have any questions about the Planexes, about the use of them, um, or what comes with it, or what the deals are, again, we can go over those again with Eddie. Um, and, uh, any other questions about Festool uh, during the morning, we're happy to try and answer them if we can. Uh, and if we're not, if we don't know the answer, we get somebody back to you who does know the answer. So, at the moment, any questions? So I've, I've got a question. Um, I thought we'd be working on a shiny surface, can I vary the light? Yes, you can. Using the work app, um, you'll find a function in there where you can set, using your, your remote, you can actually, uh, using your phone, you can set the light to quarter, half or full. I think it's quarter, half or full uh, setting. So, for example, depending on your environment, uh, here it's reasonably bright, but actually it does make a difference um, depending on the time of day you're, you're standing, for example, and the time of day you're working, so, so that would be useful. Um, well, what would tell me about our last lamp of planet? Yes, of course. Thank you, Eddie. Eddie's my A1 partner here. He's reminding me of everything I've forgotten. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, using the app, uh, you're also able to locate the tool, or at least the, the, the last place you use the tool. So using GPS on your phone and the Bluetooth, it'll tell you where you last used the phone. And that technology also applies to our batteries as well. Um, for me, the big, the big one using the app is that you can see the condition of the tool. It'll give you the running temperatures and things like that. And it, and it will let you know if, if uh, it's like a diagnostic tool. So you'll be able to see if there's something wrong with it. We'll get that back in for service. And as you're all aware, warranty all inclusive, absolutely fantastic service. We collect and deliver your repairs wherever you are. You don't pay for any servicing on Festool tools for the first three years. And not forgetting, last but least, not least, three years uh, theft protection with Festool and for a hundred pounds cover, you uh, in excess you basically get a brand new tool delivered within three days. So uh, it's a fantastic setup. That's one of the great reasons for choosing Festool. And, uh, that's good. Any, any yeah, questions? Uh, yeah, someone's asking, can they use their CTM MIDI? Oh, Dust good question. Yes. Um, yeah, the, the minimum extraction on site now. Um, Basically, L, uh, for those who probably know all this already, but we'll repeat it, uh, dust is classified L, M, and H, um, and basically that just refers to the risk. And if you look at L dust or a machine with an L uh, rating, that's basically good enough for cleaning floors. Uh, an M machine uh, is down to 0.1 of a micron in dust, uh, dust collection or dust filtration, um, but in order to um, qualify as an M machine, it has to have an audible alarm when you're on site and an M class filter. Um, if you use a CTM MIDI, the CTM MIDI technically could work. Is it recommended? No, because there's no auto clean function on it. Also, the volume of dust you're taking off with this machine, if you're a, particularly if you're a contractor trying to use this and take, take um, you know, use it usefully, you're going to be emptying the bag or changing the bag every five minutes. But also, you need the auto clean because some of that dust will go through the bag because it's very fine dust and it'll go straight into your filter. So you're going to be cleaning your filter. It's really probably not recommended. I think initially, just purely for the volume, because you will fill a MIDI very quickly. It's, uh, I think it's 14 litres, whereas the minimum on this is 20, 26 to 36 litres. So you're going to be changing the bag a lot. So no, uh, technically would it work? Yes, you could plug it in and it would take dust away, but 
really not recommended. Okay. That's great. So if, if you have any more questions, just put them on Instagram, Facebook, and we'll be happy to, uh, to take any other questions.